Alrighty guys, so we've got some new stuff in from Savile Row. I wanted to share it with everyone, but we're going to experience it together. So these I haven't even opened yet. This is a collection that was actually designed, put together by, I should say, where we handpicked each of the acetates. In this box as well, I have one of my own, and they wanted to see my thoughts on it too. So if I can get this to cooperate, there we go. Ah, perfect. So we're going to go through it finds where in the world my personal box is hiding because there's too much stuff in here and that's never fun there's something with my name on it so let's see this little luxurious thing so this is their acetate combinations we got our classics in already which i'm sure you guys have seen that's the custom tailored stuff we'll link that up over here in one of the cards so if you're interested in seeing just the classics, which are the old round metals, a few different shapes, and we've mostly got the rounds in right now. It's the other one is still in process. Everything takes time, right? Impatiently waiting for this guy for several weeks. That is absolutely gorgeous. So take a look. This is a skull white acetate with their black gold temples and what you've got there you can see you've got that really nice polish on the acetate which you guys will hear me talk about all the time i'm a sucker for a good polish and this one definitely has it sorry i'm inspecting a little too much now what i love about these you have a really great attachment point here on the front but that is actually around both sides and fully riveted so that is made to last versus my etnia frame you may have seen before that one comes around the front and it's screwed in from the back which over time that can kind of wear away and stretch where those holes are and eventually that's going to get loose and i'm going to cry and you'll see me curling and ball in the corner as i've talked about that is my signature look and frame now this guy though might actually be a contender for that position let's see yeah that's actually a nice <laughs> back to oogling over this frame right so we've got again just an incredible fit now what i love and i've mentioned this in the other video with saddle rows you have this really nice finish on the material there we go it won't zoom in enough there we go okay so you can't quite make it out with the lighting over here, but you've got that nice detail through the temple core and at the front of the frame. And that's done through a process they call coining. Essentially that is stamped in the final finish on the frame. Just like the classics, these temples are that 18 karat rolled gold process. So you've got the Monel core spun around in 18 karat gold, annealed, finished, and then the final plating process in the 24 karat black gold in this case. Most importantly, just the fit on this is incredible. So I hadn't actually tried this frame. I didn't have my hand on it, but as you guys know, I'm pretty good at spotting these patterns and finding that perfect fit. So this was all done from the catalog. I'm pretty good at it. So there you go. <laughs> That's me tooting my own horn a little bit. I do that sometimes, I'm sorry. It's a new year, I'm actually going to do that more, so instead of less. But, that gives just a quick rundown on my newest frame, because why not, right? Yeah, that's going to be a nice look. So, now I've got one that's that nice white pearly finish. Obviously, I've got to get my lenses in here so I can't see past my phone, so if I bump into something and the phone goes flying, I'm sorry, but now, here we go. So this is, again, this collection, we've actually gone through and handpicked the acetate finishes for each of these frames. So what that means is outside of here, you probably won't see these again, but just like the others, we can custom tailor what that temple is and the sizing a little bit now there's not as much sizing adjustment in the frame fronts in the acetate collection we can still custom tailor the temple fit 
with their various types. So you have the full curl all the way around the back with the cable temple style, like this, the more traditional, or like on the Harry Potter frames where it's actually bowed and comes out around and then back. It's always nice for those big headed guys. Like me, occasionally, depending on the frame, but let's get back to these, right? We've got so many more of these. And I just want to show off, aside from my own, and excuse me while I get back to my own glasses so I can see what in the world I'm actually doing. Huh. Now I took my free hand and I lost my stick. Uh, this guy here is very universal. Probably the most handy tool I have. And you're looking at everything except what you want to look at. There's no pretty glasses on the screen, just my ugly face. Oh, wait, there's those pretty glasses. <laughs> oh, good night. This is a two-handed job. Get stare at the ceiling in my face for a second. There we go. Oh, boy. All right. Now, let's try and see. We have gorgeous, clear. You guys will get better views of these another time, but I just want to share as we go through, look at this purple. Amazing. Okay, I'm done showing off now because I need to Google through these on my own, but they're gorgeous. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. All right, that's enough stuff for you guys to drill over today. Now I need to get back to playing with my own and get my frame in a box for lenses downstairs before the USPS guy shows up. So, We'll catch you guys next time. Let me know your thoughts on this, or again, if there's anything in particular you want to see, let me know in the comments below. We'll get to that. Take care, and I will see you next time.